Hey there, welcome back and happy new year. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> oh, I mean, hmm. three. This is, this is my third holiday season, my third New Year's since I was diagnosed with stage four cancer. And they said, girl, you ain't gonna make it. <laughs> Most likely to the holidays. Mm. This is my third, third New Year's that I'm ringing in. <sighs> and you know, I got a little crazy and did chemo and radiation at the same time. So it has been uh, a very rough couple of weeks. I haven't really been out of bed, but I wanted to get out of bed today to shout out to you and say thank you so, so much for this past year. I always say you shouldn't can't do cancer alone. It takes a tribe. And you have shown up every step of the way. And that's, that's amazing. This past year, you celebrated my wins with me. You, you grieved with me. Uh, the, the scary times we laughed and Remember this year, we went on my first run together. Remember, I, I ran for the first time. Yeah, it was only a minute or two, but I actually ran. Yeah, it was great. All the hikes that we went on in Jackson Hole and the bike rides and, oh, I got to see all the, all the nature walks and the walks along the lake that we spent together. And I got to go visit my, my sister and my nephews, even during COVID. I successfully did it without any of us getting sick twice this year. I mean, it, it's, we've had an amazing year considering COVID and cancer. And we've also had, uh, it's, it's been a rough year, you know. I still have cancer, it's still growing and it keeps doing that. But I'm still here. I'm still ringing in the new year. And I truly mean that I, I, I would not be able to do it in the, I don't know, necessarily sane, you know? I don't know, I'm not, I think I lost that a, a, a while back. Probably it was the day that I was diagnosed, my head split open, <laughs> it's never been the same. <laughs> but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. I truly uh, appreciate that when you don't hear from me that you reach out. I truly appreciate uh, the very personal stories that you share, whether you're being inspirational or, or sharing something very sad to be able to, to connect. And those things, those times when I, I when I can't breathe and uh, those times when I, I can't get out of bed and I get scared that I'm not gonna be able to do it again. <laughs> it's those times that you'll share a, a funny story or, or a personal story or, or something and, 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 and you have never let go. And this is so, so important and, and, and I really want you to hear this I have held hands with friends as they walk this, this path uh, to not living any longer. And almost every single one of them did it alone because they ended up, their friends, I'm on year three. And you see me and you think, she must be doing great, right? But I'm still dealing with cancer every single day. And I try to do it, finding joy in every day, but it's still every day and I struggle. But I don't do it alone because you have never, ever walked away. And for that, I am the luckiest person I know. And I know that sounds fucked up that I've 
stage four cancer and I'm saying that, but I mean it. I, I, I would not have been able to do this without you. So today I wanted to drag myself out of bed and I wanted to tell you happy fucking new year. <laughs> I hope that you are, are having a wonderful time or the best possibly that you can. I, ho I hope that your friends and family are all healthy and happy and all of that good stuff. And, you know, who knows? Hey, 2022 in February, I turned 50. And who that gets me because I really didn't think I was going to make that. I did not think I was going to see it. And we're going to celebrate it together. Yes. So happy new year. Thank you. Much love and I'll see you in 2022.